Hello and welcome to AP Studio Arts. Um, you are either in the AP 2D design or the three-dimensional design. Okay, so welcome. Uh, my name is Miss Kane. If you had me in the past, you probably knew me as Miss McCreese, but I did have a name change over the summer, so it's Miss Kane. Take a minute to get used to it, but it'll be fine. All right. Um, so congratulations, you have made it into AP Advanced Placement. Okay, so you should be very proud of yourself because you have achieved some, um, some great growth throughout your program, throughout your time in the art program at um, Spring ISD. And your teachers have felt that you have a strong enough um, art portfolio to put you in the AP class. So yay, welcome. Okay, um, I want to make sure that everyone really understands the, the workload that goes into this and the expectations that go along with being in the, the AP program because you have a lot of advantages of being in here, right? You're in a college level course is what's happening here um, and you are going to have a lot of opportunities for different colleges to actually see your portfolio, okay, and um, really they're going to see that you did the work to get through the AP Studio Arts course. You scored great on your portfolio review. They're going to be very interested in you, okay? So this is like a really great opportunity for you if you are willing to put in the work. So the expectations for you guys, okay? You have sort of two sets because you're going to have the the requirements from the college board, which that's the governing body for AP, right? And then you're gonna have my requirements and the, the spring ISD requirements, okay? They're gonna go a lot along together pretty, pretty easily, okay? Um, so the first thing that you need to start thinking about is what is the area going to be for your sustained investigation, okay? Um, what does that mean? What is a sustained investigation? Basically, it is a series of work that is all connected through one concept, one idea, um, one artistic medium that you've chosen to explore, okay? Um, and they want you to come up, the, the college board, AP wants you to come up with some guiding questions to sort of help you develop this, um, this area of concentration, this sustained investigation that you're going to do, okay? So um, a couple of examples could be, you know, you really want to um, explore the concept of inner self versus outer self. So you're gonna theme your, all of your um, body of work, the majority of the body of work that you complete this year, you, you will be making it relate back to that theme, okay? Um, so for, the requirements is that they want you to have this sustained investigation, okay, would be one part of your po portfolio. And the other part of your their um, portfolio, they want you to show some variety. The Most of the time this year, we're gonna be working in that, that sustained investigation section of the portfolio because you've already had two to three years um, to work on variety, okay? So just some of the, the um, pieces that you've created throughout your time here um, in Spring ISD, um, those would sort of go into, they call it breadth, which means like the more encompassing work, just to show that, um, you know, you you have skill in diverse mediums and diverse techniques and different subject matters that you like to work with, okay? Um, so you are going to need at least seven, that are gonna be in that sustained investigation, okay? So that's seven high quality works of art that you would submit for a college advisor to look at, okay? That all are in that same theme. That's gonna be the majority of your work this year, okay? I know seven doesn't seem like a lot when we put it, when you stretch it out over the year, but you have to think that these projects have to be, they're really gonna take up a lot of your time um, to get it to to the level that you need it to be, okay? And then you're going to have eight other works that are um, from, you know, the the breadth section, right? The um, That shows the variety. And those will be like your rodeo art pieces, things like that, okay? 
Um, the other thing that is a big, big expectation from y'all, you must work outside of class time. There is no way, no way that you will be able to get where you need to be in 45 minutes a day. Okay, it is a given that you will be needing to take work home. You will be needing to come after school. If you have early release, you might need, be needing to come during your off time, okay? Um, these are all options for you guys to, to really put in the time and the effort that needs to be dedicated here, okay? Um, especially if you are a ceramics artist, just be prepared to be in the studio a lot so that you can use pottery wheel because obviously you don't have a pottery wheel at home, okay? Um, another expectation, it's super, super important, is that you guys document all of the pieces that you're working on from the beginning of the design cycle, right? Which would be planning um, your sketchbook, your notes um, through the process of creation, creating the art. So take pictures, pictures on your phone, okay? Make sure that you, because those in progress pictures and um, those sort of um, step by step taking you through it is very important because sometimes in at the end when we go to submit your portfolio, if you don't have enough of um, the completed pieces to submit, right? Well, I mean, you'll have to complete submit all your completed pieces, but if you are missing some um, sort of detail photos and things like that, um, they'll they'll accept like the the in progress work as well because it also kind of gives them a little bit of an insight into um, your technique and and how you work, okay? And how you develop your art from the beginning to the end. Um, the sketches and all of the planning designs, you guys know that's important. If you've ever done any sort of art contest here before, you know that um, they wanna see your original ideas and how you developed them. So make sure, please, please, please make sure that you are taking pictures and documenting your progress. Also with that, you're gonna need access to your student drive, right? I think it's your J drive. Mine for teachers is called a J drive, right? But, or um, like your Google drive, okay? You just need somewhere to sort of store this online digital portfolio. Sculpture folks, yours is all a digital submission, okay? 2D people, you have both. You have a digital submission and then you choose a couple that we actually mail off in a physical portfolio, okay? Um, I know that this is really challenging because we're starting the year at home and you need to be in the studio getting your design work done, getting started on this sustained investigation. Um, but I think it is actually a little bit fortunate that you guys are having some time at home because it gives you really time to develop that, those guiding questions for your sustained investigation, okay? Um, as far as what I need you to have to sort of start the year at home, what supplies can you get right now to get started on our work right now? Um, obviously, pencils, paper, erasers, very important. Sketchbook, please go get, you guys are in AP, there's no reason for you to be using a lined paper notebook at this point. Most likely you already have sketchbooks that you're working in, okay? Um, so I need you to get a legitimate sketchbook, not a notebook for writing, okay? Walmart, Michaels, I think they even have it at Target if you go into the, the little like party cards, arts and crafts section over there, okay? Get yourself a sketchbook. I don't care what size, shape, whatever, but I need you to have a bound book with blank white paper in it, okay? Um, apart from that, I would suggest some if you can afford Prismacolors, good for you. You 2D people, you probably want to invest, start investing in Prismacolors anyway, okay? So if you can get some Prismacolors, that's awesome. If not, I would say try to get like some mid-level colored pencil. That means um, don't go to the back-to-school supplies to get the Crayola ones, okay? Go to the arts and crafts section and see if you can find ones that are just a little bit above the Crayola, okay? Because they're going to have like the, the core of them is going to have a... a more of a pigment in the wax content so you'll be able to do a little bit more with them all right um the other thing is you're going to need i would highly suggest i'm not saying this is mandatory at all but i would highly suggest some sort of fine point um felt tip black marker it this one is a micron but you can get you know the sharpies aren't too expensive vic vic makes it that's fine too um suggest that now 
Another thing I think that would be really great for y'all is some sort of brush tip marker. So these are the um, Copic, Copic ones. Um, please don't go get these unless you are an illustration person. Um, you don't need to spend your money on these. They're very expensive, but I, oh, wrong end. I just wanted to show you the, um, the brush tip um, because this allows you to get a very, very fine point. And then when you, you know, you can turn it on its side and it's a flexible brush and it's almost like painting with a marker. So if you can find some brush tip markers, they make, um, they make cheap ones that are washable, the same thing like that over in the arts and crafts section at Walmart and Target. Um, Michaels has their own brand. It's called Artist Loft. Um, if you can find some brush tip markers, go ahead and get those. If not, you know, just get your regular marker, your Crayola, whatever, in the back to school section. Um, I said color pencils, no crayons. They're too waxy and gross. Nobody wants to use that. Um, the A black fine tip permanent one is great. These, the other thing that I think is going to be really great for y'all just get a basic set of watercolors, okay? Get the brand Prang, P-R-A-N-G, okay? Do not get the Crayola ones. Prang and Crayola, they're about the same price. The Prang you probably will be able to even find in the back to school section. They're not uncommon, it's a very popular brand, okay? Um, get those because they are a little bit more blendable than the Crayola and they come with a good brush, okay? They come with like an actual nice brush that you can use. The Crayola ones are come with that like little plastic handle with the the weird black f plastic fibers and you're not doing anything with that, okay? Um, so get the watercolors. I think that's gonna be um, a really great um, resource for y'all to have um, just to get a little bit more creative than your markers and colored pencils, okay? Um, so that's basically, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the expectations for the AP program, what you can go ahead and go get started to pick up for supplies now for the at-home learning. Um, introduce myself, again, Miss Kane. Welcome if we have not met before. Um, and, you know, just general introductions about AP. Um, I will be talking to you more in further videos about how to develop those guiding questions for your sustained investigation. Um, we will be talking more about the studio expectations when you do come back on campus and um, we'll be going ahead and diving into our first uh, project. All right, you guys have a great day and I'll see you later.